pro tip for anybody out there struggling to film yourself, all you gotta do is take your fishing pole in the sand, put your hat on it, and grab focus. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Go With Joe Outdoors. My name is Joe, and today we're fishing the jetty of the Oregon coast for Lincoln. We're gonna see if we can get it done. Yeah, we're going out there. Link caught of the day. I can tell it's not quite long enough. So we're gonna wait for a swell. She's going back. Go make babies. Bye friends. Another undersized, beautiful green link cod. It's too short, so we're gonna put them back. Again on the white grub with the pink tail. Back 
here's the plan. We've got this little paracord bracelet. It's really all I've got. I don't want to give up fishing. So I'm gonna untie it and see if I can tie my reel on and then catch the biggest ling cod I've ever caught. We'll see, we'll see. We'll find out, we'll see. It's all the same, we'll see. Probably not the fanciest fishing pole on the water today. But I think it's gonna work. We'll find out. Lingcod. Two nice lingcod yesterday that were undersized. We're hoping for some keepers today. Back out into the fog we go. Somebody left this squid out here. I'm gonna take it fishing. I got these little swim baits. It's a one and a half ounce jig head. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut just a little piece of squid here and uh, use magic thread to get that tied onto the swim bait. Let's see how it goes. There we go. I know what you're thinking. Let's see if you spin this way out. This way. You probably think it's this guy went home. It came back with this broken, ugly stick. You know, this fishing pole is probably getting more and more ugly by the day. But I tell you what, I didn't feel like going to the store last night. And I think it'll catch fish. We'll find out. Gotta be 22 inches to keep. Too small. Going back. Woo! Okay. I was on this squid wrapped sort of a transparent, kind of green looking worm. One and a half ounce jig head. She held up. <laughs> it's not fancy guys, but you don't have to have fancy gear to get out here and catch fish. There she is. First keeper link like, caught of the day. I didn't have the camera on. Kind of gets to be too much when you're out here by yourself. You got to focus on filming and you got to focus on fishing. And I focused on fishing and it paid off. Beautiful link cod. Woo. 24 inches long. It's going to make great fishing chips. Just look at look at the skin on these things and the spikes. It's so beautiful. All that sea lights. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get another one. Okay, everyone, I've gotta give credit where credit's due. I watch a YouTube channel called The Bites. Uh, Chris and Asher over there talked about wrapping these plastic baits with squid. Hey, you guys think I did a good job? I think that's a pretty good wrap. Asher, Chris, let me know what you think. One day I ran into those two guys out here on the jetty. I wasn't catching any fish. They gave me some squid. I thought that was real kind of them. Uh, and since then, obviously, I've been catching lingcod. 
which is wonderful. Anyways, today I found some squid sitting on a rock. I picked it up, I took it fishing, I caught fish, and then I see a couple of guys walking out here to go lean cod fishing that they've never caught a lean cod before. I gave them one of those squid that I picked up off the rock. And about an hour later, I hear him shouting from the end of the jetty, fish on, fish on. So that was really cool. Uh, shout out to The Bite, Chris, Asher, you helped me get my first ling cod from the jetty. That's awesome. And because of that, through me, you helped get these guys their first ling cod too. So, cheers guys, thanks. And of course, uh, go follow their channel. Subscribe to The Bite on YouTube. They've got some really great content. Also, I love making videos as well. I appreciate when you like and subscribe to my channel because it helps me continue to create content. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Oh, and the squid.